So, today I'm going to attempt to mount the, this is called a carrier, on the back of the Honda 80 V150. And I, I couldn't find any good videos on this, so I thought I'd make one, if, assuming I can do it. I mean, uh, the first thing I ran into was the, there were no instructions in, that came in the boxes. And uh, a lot of parts. And uh, so they did give you this piece of paper, and if you go to this address, I'll just get it right here in front of the camera. Hopefully, let me get behind so you can kind of see this. Let's see here. Yeah, there you go. The CCS portal, CSSclub.net, Honda MZA start. And you got to type that whole darn thing in right there. And then when you get up there, there's no, um, th there's no directions for the... Um, well, you got to well, first. You got to pick the uh, uh, 150. Well, what was it? 125 to 400 group, uh, and I think I these are for the Honda 2020. I don't think there were any directions for the ADV um, 2021, which is what this is. So I'm hoping that these directions are going to work for it. So uh, the first thing that, if I'm reading this correctly, because once again the directions suck. Um, uh, so. What they're saying is these uh, rails need to come off and uh, and then there's another part that we'll put on so you don't need to watch me take them off and it does give you uh, some good information here tools required socket 12 millimeter ratchet Phillips screwdriver and a torque wrench I don't have a torque wrench I probably need to buy one one of these days but um, and then of uh, and then they actually give you the torque information which is really good that's excellent um, okay, and then the maximum load capacity here is 17.6 uh, pounds or 8.0 uh, kilograms. Um, so let's just get started. And so this is as far as I've gotten. Um, as you notice, we got the the rails off, and I uh, I've noticed in these directions, all it talks about is this thing right here, which is going to replace the rails, you know, right here. Um, screw it in but the oh and these are caps that are going to go in the end of these right here I wanted to show you the holes right here so these caps go in that's all it's showing in the directions and then it's talking about a handle weight which you would put on the the handle but what does that have to do with the carrier I mean I mean I have to I'm probably I'm gonna have to go to the dealer and ask them about some of this stuff I mean I don't even know why I got these handle weights, but uh, so anyway, that's where we are. I'm going to go watch some YouTube videos and see if I can find the rest of the story, as Paul Harvey used to say, because that's all these directions show me. Um, and, you know, I got 16,000 other parts, so all right. So before I get back to uh, trying to find the rest of the, the rest of the story, the directions, I wanted to talk a little bit. This is the, uh, the washer that uh, goes underneath this, and uh, well, what they had done with this particular bike is the hole was drilled too close to the side. So you see how small this hole is. I couldn't get the screw to line up with the hole in the motorcycle using this washer. So you might have to buy them, but what I, I had in my stock, some other washers, not this thick, you see how thick it is, but they had a bigger, just a bigger hole, okay? And I've just put two of those down in there to, to get just about the same thickness as this. And because the hole was bigger on those washers, and they were probably slightly smaller than this one, I was able to get the screw lined up and, and get it in. Now, I haven't done it, and I'm gonna ask why, but it came with these weights for the handlebar which I assume you would take this weight off and put this weight on. What does that have to do with the carrier on the back? I mean, like, like I said, I'm going to call uh, the dealer. I, I've already called them. They didn't call me back. That's the, the wonderful technical support we have in this country. But uh, and ask Dan, who's the parts guy, what's the point? Or he'll probably send me over to the service department, and I'll ask him, what's the point of putting these weights in the handle? And as soon as I get any more information, 
we'll continue the video but uh, that's where we stand and you can see I got this this is all the directions that I've gotten so far and uh, so I'm gonna go and see what I can find peace out so it was my mistake um, I had to go back to that link that I showed you earlier to the uh, the website and uh, it's unusual because the directions are actually spread out across uh, four or five PDF files and uh, so once you you pull them down you you'll you'll, <laughs> you'll get the rest of the story which is good and uh, you know I'm I'm, I'm pretty uh, I'm pretty pleased with the uh, the directions I mean I you know you got to give Honda credit um, and the box is going to be a bit complicated uh, but uh, you know the, the thing that I like about the directions let's just get into it and you know once again why in the hell is the United States not using the metric system you know every country in the world uses the metric system but the United States but anyway the one thing they did point out was the bolt is 8 by 40 millimeter right so I knew you know I had the four bolts to, to mount this in and uh, you know they were smaller and I they kind of matched up to the bolts that I took out for the for the handles that were on here so I thought well there's got to be the smaller bolt that goes in right here well if I'd read the doggone directions I would know that the um, the size bolt that, that went down in there and which one to use so you know you pull out your tape measure which is in inches and luckily this one has a metric and you can just measure it and you know it's a uh, 40 millimeter so we're going to be taking this is called the uh, whoop, well, here I wanted to show you this. Uh, whenever I'm doing a project like this, I always put a little Vaseline on the bolts. Um, that's just to, to give them, but keeps them when you, you know, when you go to take it apart, a lot of times, uh, you know, they'll rush down in there a bit. This just kind of lube, lubes it up so that if you ever do want to go back and just take this carrier off, which, you know, if it doesn't work out, who knows? So that's just, just wanted to show you that. Uh, and uh, so this is the, this is called the base plate and that's going to mount on here just like that and let's show you what it looks like when I when I got it mounted. there you go so <clears throat> so far so good like I said I I'm, I'm really 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 uh, digging these directions now why didn't they put them in the box I mean I had to go to the website if you didn't if you didn't know how to type in that link and go to the website and give and then figure out you know just pick the 2020 because uh, there weren't any directions for the ADV one, you know, 2021. But uh, you, know, you can see it's pretty smooth. You know, the bolts went in. I like the fact that they give you the length of the bolt and they give you the torque. Uh, those, you know, being from the Air Force, that's a very important information. Uh, so next phase is the box, and that's going to be a bit more complicated. And uh, probably get on that tomorrow just because... Uh, well, we had that washer problem right here. Um, so other than that, everything's going pretty smooth. So, all right, peace out. Now, I'm not a clock maker, <laughs> which you really, if you've ever worked on clocks, uh, you could probably do this pretty easily. But uh, for me, um, this is the key mechanism for the uh, the box and as you can see it has one two three four five six seven parts and uh, and you got to really really look at those directions you know you like get this oriented in the proper direction according to what you're seeing on the directions and then to pop this key and I kept trying to pull it with my fingers um, but what I ended up using was just a regular pair of pliers and uh, yeah I scratched it up just a little bit but not too bad when you just take those pliers and uh, and also this bottom plate that's why I said you got to orient this properly when you're doing it because the bottom plate you want the big portion towards the bottom and the little side going towards the top and then you got to pull that clip in and clip it in and then of course this uh, the, the, the actual locking mechanism has to be uh, put on next and then there's a washer and then this little guy this little horseshoe pin 
Um, man, I tried with needle nose, uh, you know, it, it, I just couldn't, I tried pulling it on with my fingers and, you know, there's a little slot right here that you got to get all of this stuff in. Um, I mean, it's, it's pretty good in the fact that you can, you, of course, if you're stupid like me, I put all this on first because I didn't see, because the directions, what they do is you're coming down the left side and then you got to jump back up and then you come down the right side. And I was just doing it in my, and I, I suggest just do it in your office, watch the computer um, because you're going to get frustrated trying to put this thing together. It's just not very uh, intuitive, but uh, that's it. So we got the next uh, big piece done. I was just sitting in there watching a movie while I worked on this. And so that way I didn't get frustrated. But, okay, we're continuing to, to mount the box, or the carrier. Alright, so I wanted to finish up the carrier mounting video. Um, and yeah, I'm dumber than a bag of rocks, but uh, that's okay. Uh, I had to go to the Honda dealer. I had to strap that carrier on the back of the motorcycle because I just couldn't get it mounted. Well, I didn't really understand. If you look right here... This little guy, it actually folds down. See how it folds up and down? That actually locks the carrier into place on this connection right here. Now, if you look at this guy right here, and I did figure this out on my own, okay, is once that key's unlocked, you just pop that up, and boom, you can pop the carrier right off. <clears throat> and uh, so the guy, he showed it to me, and, and, and by the way, this, this has to be down all the way before that key. Now, see, you got to push this in, and boom, you lock it in, and then that key will actually turn. Okay, so uh, that way, <laughs> that's where I made my big mistake. And, you know, we kind of talked about, they sent me this, this thing here. I'm going to mount it. What the hell? He says, because that's going to be a counterweight balance to any weight that I'm carrying in the carrier. Um, you know, I, I just don't understand why this isn't a standard feature. Um, why would you not want a motorcycle? Now, look at what I came up with today. I was, I was out hiking, and I thought, you know, now that I've got this long rail here, why couldn't I bungee cord my uh, walking stick because what happened was I have a backpack and I had the stupid walking stick sticking up out of the back of the backpack. But then when you got the helmet on, <laughs> you can't, you can't lean your head back. So your head was constantly, you know, uh, bent over in front of you. Uh, and so I was like, well, this ain't going to work. I got to come up with something else, but look at that carrier stick. So, I mean, and, and by the way, once you pop, this thing up this 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 whole thing just pops right off so would you ever put the other rails on no and if you have a passenger they can grab right onto this you know of course without the walking stick here i mean and so it's the same and so i don't i don't understand why that doesn't come standard with the um with the motorcycle but uh you know they got to make money um it was it cheap no i mean 450 bucks but look at the storage in this thing. I mean, here, let's just unlock it. I would love it now that I can turn the key. Um, oops. Oh, I gotta pop it up. And you know, it's got, it takes a, bit of, takes a bit of effort to pop it. And then, of course, yeah, that's right. You gotta rock it back. So look, my helmet fits in there. Look at that. Boy, look at all that bug juice on that helmet. I've been riding this thing for a while. But I mean, uh, you know, if I if it comes to it and I have to make deliveries for a living or something, uh, and of course I got the hat and the gloves down in there, but uh, it's nice to have this carrier. And uh, when I go hiking, now I don't have to hide that stupid helmet in the woods. Um, and uh, of course, I guess I'm I'm, <laughs> I'm going to take it in right now and clean that windshield off from all. Because man, I rode. Uh, I guess I rode. Um, I don't know, 60, 70 miles today. And uh, and that's what you get, and that's why I'm saying you got you got to have eye protection. I mean, them guys that wear them sunglasses, it's good. But I mean, I'm constantly checking around me when I'm riding the the motorcycle, so I don't know how they keep them on because uh, maybe they got well, they probably have a back strap around their head 
which would make sense, and uh, so that keeps them from flying off. So this will conclude the uh, carrier uh, video. Now, one one thing I am going to do, I they, they actually gave me, and I screwed up. And I'm sure it's down in here somewhere. Daggone it. I will show you the dog on. Here it is. I was supposed to lubricate the uh, the key mechanism. Um, and I, and well, I probably will at some point, but what I'm going to do is just take some silicon spray and that's what I used to do with my, uh, locks up in Michigan. And I'm going to just stick it up in there and just spray the hell out of that thing. Um, and you see it operates really well. Uh, so it's just a, it's just a wonderful addition. And now that I figured out how to bungee cord this, uh, walking stick onto the side. I mean, you can see we're we're equipping this thing. I mean, look look at the phone mount. You know, I mean, we we covered this in previous videos. Uh, we got this right here. Uh, by the way, I mean, I I found out. I mean, taking these these, you know, I'm learning. I'm learning as I go. But all the this is our just this rubber thing just pops up, and you can unscrew these mirrors. I've already gone over on this thing twice. Yeah, granted, I didn't hurt myself because I wasn't going very fast because I knew I was in deep sand. I just no damn good in deep sand. Um, so, you know, every, everything's not perfect. No vehicle is perfect. Uh, so I uh, <laughs> got my toilet paper down in here. Uh, all right, man. You guys, uh, peace out. This will be the end of the uh, um, uh, how to put the... Uh, uh, carrier on the back of the bike man i tell you it is a, just a huge 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 welcome addition um and if you're a hiker i mean you've got this walking stick you know maybe you just want a spear <laughs> you know it's just so that you can stab somebody whatever i mean it's good to have and uh and so now i got that strapped on there and uh it's just it's all coming together i mean i w what more do you want i can and by the way i mean that's another thing with having that thing mounted right there i can watch the directions so today i i did a trail i can't i can't remember it was called uh uh e elon i think it was called elon lake something like that eh, you know you have to watch my videos and uh and so i, I was able to follow the the directions on the phone while i'm riding because you know you just kind of glance down i mean and, and look at that uh it's just we're, we're we're knocking it out and i this will probably be the last thing i do for the motorcycle and uh, i can't think of anything else um so all right peace out